to travel now. It's a good time to book your accommodation in Tilpo for the 8th annual Graffiato Street Art Festival over Labour Weekend. There's going to be 10 artists. They're going to paint 10 walls. There are already around 80 murals around Tilpo, and Debbie was there last year to check them out. Take a look. Tilpo is best known for its water. The Hooker Falls, where 200,000 litres of water barrels through this canyon every second and the Great Lake, New Zealand's largest. But it's the back street arch that's now in the spotlight. And after breakfast at the storehouse, we check out the walls nearby. We've got a walking map that you can download and print off or, or we, we hand out at the weekend. And it just shows where the old pieces are and where, where the new pieces are happening. So you can, it's over three days and you can just walk around and seeing the, see them being developed. These gems are off the beaten path, tucked into alleyways and in car parks. It does beautify some, yeah. some back alleys and, and sometimes you don't realise just uh, the quality of artwork that we have. We've got some of New Zealand's biggest street artists. Artists like Sinza, Mr G and local part-timer Tane. He's becoming a little bit of a local legend um, for his street artwork. He's a very unassuming person, so he's willing to work with different business owners to create a piece that works for them. Um, if you look at this piece, it's got a beautiful moor pork in it. Now, Tane, over the years, has become quite the environmentalist, and so I know it was really important for him to show a bit of his favorite aspects of nature in this piece of work. The artists can paint whatever they like. Because the artists haven't been commissioned, um, they're coming down here doing their works for free. Um, part of the joy is that they can paint whatever they want on the walls. Now we do give them a little bit of guidelines, so nothing dark, nothing inappropriate for children. But from that, it's up to them to paint what they like. I do have a couple of favourites. I love the Kekapo, which we'll show you later. Um, I was involved, well, I helped um, Siren paint his beautiful dog called Bumblebee. You helped? Well, well, I painted the black wall, which is pretty exciting, but mostly I was just sort of uh, volunteering, keeping away um, traffic, that kind of thing, just being his general <laughs> helper. So when you're involved and you know the backstory of a piece, it really, you know, you feel, you feel linked to it. This uh, man from Auckland came down and he was just blown away by the art that we've got and he, she hadn't really, sometimes when you're so busy you're going to A to B, you don't necessarily look up and see it. And he was saying to her, you've got amazing work here with incredible artists. But it's not just out-of-towners who are impressed by the jumbo-sized art. For locals, it's given once forgotten parts of town a new lease on life. Home for the night, Boulevard Waters, where we exchange the beauty on the walls for the tranquility of Lake Taupo. This boutique apartment block sits right on the water, so the sounds of waves lapping and ducks quacking will drift into your room right through the night. Awesome, looks so great, doesn't it? Now this year, the Graffiato organisers have introduced a walking map that you can get from the iSite in Topo or download it online. It features 30 murals and includes information on the festival and the names of the artists.